Welcome back. Let's play some Tenant games here on Shogi Wars. I know I have been showing some use of the Urshino opening. Just because I play it does not mean I recommend its use. Um, even though it's kind of fun. Um, the problem with playing it is that you don't understand during the opening, during the middle game, or during the end game what's going on. Good luck. Sorry, uh, I did an audio check before the live stream. Apparently, um, things are going differently now than during the audio check. So, we're going to suppress some of that noise, and hopefully uh, you're not going to get a huge echo on your end. <sighs> yeah, it's like my audio setup seems to change every single time I do this. Um, also, this <laughs> this is me attempting to play Central File Rook, but also um, instantly deviating from my typical strategy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the king there. So... Um, don't know exactly where we're gonna end up with this. I do like playing Mino or half Mino Castle. And so I'm consequently gonna play it, even though I've been advised that like it doesn't combine well with this uh, shape. Um Okay. Our opponent plays uh, this double silver attack. Um, I am slightly tilted that they're blitzing everything. Because uh, on the one hand, I'm down on time. And on the other hand, um, I suspect that they're going to slip up at some point. And then they'll have slipped up and just blame the fact that they just moved too fast. Or they'll just, I don't know, mindlessly amble about playing the game. Um, and then when I win, is it really a victory of my own effort? Or is it just that they weren't paying attention? I don't know. Um, Yeah, this pawn push is perhaps not sound, but I don't really know what else to do, because they keep moving instantly and I don't have time to think. Um. See, this just opens a hole for my bishop. I guess it's not fatal, but... Um, I guess also, like, who am I to complain? Because my moves aren't that great either. Um, oh, this is interesting. If silver takes, I win a rook. So this has to retreat. Um, but I can still use my bishop anyway. And that's a retreating move. So I'm in full pursuit. And now I win a knight. I'm down almost a minute, but I'm about to win at least a piece, maybe a lot more. I think against this... wait, wait a second. This takes precedence over everything else. Right. 
So I could take the Rook. I don't even need to take the Rook, but I could take it. I should take it. Hmm. Um. I'm taking it. Nanafun. Okay, I attack the knight, which is only supported by the king. Um, hmm. This is a sharp position. I don't see how my opponent could use another knight, so I'm going to offer this up. But also try to provoke this silver to move in a way that traps the king. Okay, the king is trapped. Um... I'm going to try to use my Rook. To try to use the Rook, I've got to do something about this. This might also open a line for my Bishop. The problem with this is that I can't sack the Bishop or the Silver if the Silver moves. Um, but I think they'll just take here. And then I can try to activate my Rook on this file. And I'll be met with resistance. And we'll figure it out from there. But... Um, I guess this also has the side benefit that I'm gaining the 5-5 five five square, unless they, like, do something to hit this bishop. I'm also, like, maybe moving the rook encourages this retreat, and I can't do bishop 5-5 five five anymore. So maybe if they silver moves, I should just do bishop f5 immediately. Consequently, they might not move this right away. They might, like, drop a silver, and then I take, and then they take back, and I take another silver. Or maybe that. Or they just move this. Why not move the only piece defending your king? Why not? It's all fun. Um... Okay, I'll take this and take that and then try to find a way to use my rook. If I had another knight, that'd be kind of cool. Um, This rook is guarding this file in case crazy stuff breaks loose. Let's check my overlay. Uh, overlay looks fine. Yeah. I'm still down a minute somehow.
but a knight would be awesome. The other thing is I guess I'm threatening to take here, take there, and see what happens, but they have a bishop check. Well, this isn't check yet, is it? Not with the diagonal plugged like this. Mm-hmm. Why... Why did they sack that? It's because they intend more sacrifices. I mean, I think I have to take this one. If they drop another pawn, I just go back. Um, <clears throat> I don't like that this gold could potentially be... Well, I guess they could drop a knight to attack the gold. That I can't just go back to defend that. Um, that could be pretty awful. So, yeah, I need an attack here. Yeah. They spotted that. I can dodge it. Um, I think I need to dodge it. Oh, I could retreat. Interesting. But then, like, they drop a bishop and sack for it. Um, this is risky. So the reason they dropped the pawn was so that they could do this knight drop. And maybe that's something I need to keep in mind. Instead of instantly dropping my knight like I did earlier. Um. Okay. We'll cut off the bishop. They probably want to take this. I can't fault them for wanting that. Um, this bishop takes pawn doesn't look right to me. Because this is defended. And this is a fork. So unless it was their intention to walk into this fork in order to win a pawn... I mean, no, I mean, the bishop was hanging. I just thought they would drop other pieces and try to do something crazy. Um, I guess the advantage of this is that now they're losing the bishop instead of losing their pieces away from the, the side of the action. Losing a bishop's not the end of the world. Uh, the problem they'll face, however, is that if I can remove both colts, then then if I'm lucky and can remove both, then I'm doing great. If I'm less fortunate, then it is what it is. But So they have two silvers, one gold, one bishop. I just have to survive the current wave. Including this damn knight. They could drop a pawn way the hell down here. I don't know how to meet that. Gold takes might be forced. Um, two silvers, one gold. Okay, well, my rook defends this. So, yes, they can... Okay. That was not expected. I think they hoped that I would do gold takes, and then they drop a silver and probably mate me. But I had a rook protecting this. Now they're going to try to target the rook. 
Um, hmm, my rook's floating. That's uncomfortable. Sampun. They, well, I mean, if they had a bishop, like, the dragon would still take it, so that fork doesn't matter. But yeah, my floating rook is going to be a target for a bit, and I might lose it, and that's okay. Again, this pawn drop probably forces gold takes pawn. Because there are just too many generals surrounding my king at that point. Um, or if pawn drop, maybe I can retreat my gold to sidestep a fork. No, because then they drop anyway, and I can't take take because they, they have gold drop mate. Um, if they drop the pawn, maybe I take the knight. And then if they drop a silver, I take the pawn, they take my gold, I take back. They do something to hit my rook somehow. It's a mess. Oh, free knight. Don't mind if I do. I'm not going to the open file just yet, because they have a lance. Um, this looks so naive, but we're doing it. Oh, I'm up a minute. When did that happen? So if silver drop, then I bring the rook over. Then they lance drop, I block, then they drop another piece. Um, or maybe if they silver drop, I just run away. Um, interesting. Let's make use of the open diagonal. Um, where's my drop? I should have kept the pawn in hand. Should have kept the pawn in hand. Um, so I'm just going to run away. And now instead of trading pieces, oh, okay. Can't let that just sit around unchecked. Um, I might go quiet here, if I'm smart.
30秒20秒So their bishop's committed. No, that would be a mistake. Okay, I'll defend against tactics. This bishop cannot walk through this pawn. Um... So, yeah, I, at some point I need to move my king for safety. Um, and I did defend this point. This bishop cannot hit this pawn because they're just not lined up. Um, so, yeah. Well, they're trying to line it up, but it's not lined up. Oh, interesting. I have tactics here, too. This is hanging. After this hangs, this is hanging. Interesting. Uh, 
Uh, if my king weren't so exposed here, I'd be more adventurous. Uh, this looks interesting, though. Despite my king being on an open diagonal, this still does look interesting. And we're starting to open the diagonal toward that king, but my king's on in a, a vulnerable position. My whole position's pretty awkward here. Right, so it's banking on taking the bishop and then taking the rook, and then dropping here. That gets my no, rook trapped. Um, all right, let's do the adventurous thing here. They might sack over here. And I might have to run. And it'll be exciting. If silver takes silver, bishop takes bishop. So they might do bishop takes. Uh, but then I have pawn drop, pawn drop. And I'm... Okay. That does support the bishop, at least for one turn. I'm just trying to stay alive here. I'm not trying to win material. Any material I win is a complete accident. So the horse is hanging. The rook is hanging. The rook is still hanging. The horse is still hanging. Mm -hmm. Okay, king takes looks risky. Everything looks risky here. There is risk everywhere. Okay. I'll take another piece. Mm -hmm. Should I take that too? I think so. Um, don't fall for some stupid fork. Everything is hanging. Um... Gofun. I hesitate to play this, because there's tactics everywhere.
So my bishop drop trying to do some cheeky tactic hitting the rook did not profit me. So it's the wrong idea. straight up the middle could be a good idea but seems risky So silver drop um, liquidates a lot of stuff. I just don't want this to vaporize around my king. <laughs> what? Hmm. Um Sampun That's a fork. There's forks everywhere here. Silver drop seems the most tenacious try. Um, but it's also the least risky. Like, it's least risk, least reward to play this. It just slows everything. Okay, yeah. They played something more aggressive. I welcome some exchanges, believe it or not. Not every exchange, but some particular kinds of exchanges look favorable. So if they trade here, I'll allow it. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Damn fork. I missed that. Um... Damn fork. Nicely spotted. Yeah, they should just take this. Yep. They got a gold general for free. Oh. Um. Nifun. Do they really want my rook that much that they'll drop the gold to get it? Because I might take that exchange. If it means I can keep attacking. Also, if they drop the gold to chase the rook, I just run away. Yeah. This I'll accept. So they wanted the rook. They got the rook. They will regret that later.
1分30秒In Shogi, the Rook is one of many powerful pieces. And sure, I'm most comfortable trying to attack with it as opposed to using something else, but there does come some point at which I'll accept giving up my Rook. Here, if the gold retreats, I get, uh, I can attack the rook with taking the gold. They do this so I can't drop on the square, but I attack the square and I'm going to place my silver on that momentarily anyway. If they do nothing, then okay. That count that almost counts as doing nothing. Not quite. I don't want them to checkmate me over here. I'm paranoid something bad might happen, so I'm gonna drop two pawns first. But then after dropping two pawns, I'm gonna play my horse over here. And I'm threatening mate in one. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Central Fall Rook, let's go. Um... <laughs> I'm slightly nervous. Uh, because I don't remember my openings, and because I don't recognize this either. Um. Yeah, that was a curious move order. I don't understand it. Um. Okay, this bishop is loose. The ship is no longer loose. I'm sorry, no, it still is. If I'm feeling crazy, I can offer a, this trade. Um, hmm. Okay, so I need to calm the heck down and try to play something normal. Um... Whatever tactical shots might have existed earlier do not exist in the current position. So I should think twice about pursuing an all-out attack. Okay. Somebody wants me to attack. That makes sense. How the hell do I attack this?
They're going to push this when I'm not ready for it. Oh, okay. They pushed it when... Um, before I did anything crazy on this file. Okay. No, I'm not Fugita. And they are. Wait a second. Are we really doing this? I guess we are. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Maybe I should have done this pawn drop instead of night takes. Because um, they have this night drop. And I'm losing a gold, but I don't know. I'm losing the gold if I don't move it. Um, I might live here. This looks interesting, too. If Rook takes Pawn, then I'm winning the knight back under some bizarre circumstance. Or I could drop the Pawn back here and take this and advance a different way. Um... As soon as I get another pawn in hand, I can pick up the other knight. Hmm. Hmm, if they push this, I could do Rook takes Pawn, Pawn takes Pawn, Rook takes Pawn. So pushing on this file might not be an option. Mm -hmm. I defend against this knight advance and threaten to move my gold and take this. Uh, or actually, more directly threatening knight takes pawn than bishop takes knight. There might be some edge file idea, too. Okay, back to plan A. Where I just take a pawn, and I take a pawn, and then I go back. I think I psyched out my opponent. Um... Nanafun. Hmm. I don't know what to do next, though.
Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, let's try something crazy. I could use my rook on this file, maybe. And if I'm met with a pawn drop, then knight takes, threatening knight takes gold. And at some point, maybe I just sack my rook for an attack. So this is an open file. It's not where we thought it would. we'd find an open file, but um, it is open. It is a file. I'm not going to get to promote on it, but um, we'll use what we can. What I do like is that the knight potentially has somewhere to go here. Ah. Pawn drop, pawn takes, knight takes, gold up. Well, no. If the gold moves sideways, I'm not breaking through. Um... Breaking through is hard. Hmm. Okay, back I go, I guess. Gofun. I feel like I shouldn't do that, but I don't know what to do. But why didn't I just take this pawn? Taking the pawn would have been so much simpler. Well, then they move the rook back, and what am I doing? I guess I'm promoting my lance. Or they drop some pawns. I don't know. This might be okay. Um, but let's get a rook. Why didn't I? This is tricky.
what to do. Oh, right. Um, Maybe rook drop in the corner. No, no, this is better. All this is a hot mess, but because um, I'm down a lot of material. The factor most in my favor. Um, is that I can calculate, but um, I'm constantly dropping pieces, constantly losing material. Sampun. This is disgusting. Don't do this at home. I'm debating which to pick the top rank or the second rank for where my rook goes. I don't know. It's one of those. It's a tough decision and an important one. But bishop drops more useful too. Bishop drop and defending my king is probably the way to go here. loose. Okay, so I do pick the top rank. Um, then I attack their king. Oh, that's the wrong piece. That's not a lance. 
That is not a lance. I made things interesting. I intended lance drop. In case that wasn't obvious. Yeah, it, it's subtle. It's modern shogi. You wouldn't understand it. Um. I've become the thing everybody hates about Shogi Wars. Or have I? Wait! Uh, okay, I must have disconnected or something. Yeah, no, I meant to drop the lance here. Um, then they would have had to drop another piece to defend the king. Yeah. Uh, we have a communication disorder. Oh no. I honestly hope it's not my disconnection. It could be. Doesn't seem likely. But it could be. Um, yeah, so both of us... Like, it's a pity the time control on this website. Well... I mean, if you ignore the fact that like I was misreading every tactic... Um, it was good that I was spotting them. I just was not reading them correctly. And the way you know that is that the opponent ended up taking, like, half my pieces. And so they had six or seven pieces in hand. And I had two pieces in hand. Uh, so, like, I spotted some... Oh, I forgot to say thanks for the game. But, yeah, I spotted um, a lot of tactics. Um, I just uh, did not read them properly. I moved quickly. I did manage to get a time advantage, and that did decide the game, but um, we, we'll we have to look at that uh, post-video here to see what happened these games. Yeah. Yeah, go look at my bullet and hyper-bullet, ultra-bullet, whatever ratings on Leech Us. I've rated like 1,500. Don't worry about it. Um, clearly, it's my bullet skill is what carried me there. Anyway, uh, it was exciting games. Um, that last game, yeah, I did manage to play some variant of Central Falrook, and it was exciting. Whereas, when I'm playing the Urshino attack, we get some pretty wild games that just cannot be understood. I think we have some chance to review and understand these games, so it'll be fun doing that soon. Uh, see you around.